Good morning, you guys, or good afternoon whenever you are watching this. I am standing in my office, and yes, I do not have any makeup on today because this is just how I dress in the summertime. So I'm keeping it casual today because I'm not the focus of this video. I am in my office and I'm gonna share with you what my office looks like. Now I think the last video like this that I shared, I mean look at my hair, it's looking, I've got it in a bun today, kinda sort of, because I cleaned all day yesterday and I didn't wanna wash my hair. So I just threw it up in a bun this morning. Kate had skills camp. So she had to be there at 9. So we've been up and at them since about 6.30 this morning. So I am in my office and I wanted to give you an office tour. I think the last one I did like this was... I don't know if it was this time last year or maybe earlier than this time last year, but a few things have changed. Kate is now um, on my side of the office as well, and the side that I'm standing on right now is going to need to be fixed up. Like, we're going to actually sell this desk and get this area fixed up for either my husband or Derek, and then this area over here that has the TV and things, that area is going to get fixed up for either my husband or Derek. So, they will We'll take the last two spots of this office so we got our side completely put together for right now and I'm saying for right now because I know I have two pairs of Mickey ears coming that I have ordered from Bibbidi Bobbidi Brook and I want to put them on the wall so I'm sure some of my area may get changed around. Some things might get pulled down to put those on the wall, but I will keep you updated on that. So my area is pretty well put together and the things that aren't put together, I'll explain to you about those, but stick around to the very end of this video and I have a giveaway or the company that I'm going to share has a giveaway, 3x3 three three Seattle. So they have been so sweet enough to send me some products for free to review, and they are going to be doing a giveaway at the end of this video. So, so as I go through my office, I will share with you what products came from them. And you might be wondering what is behind me. I don't even know if I've explained this before. That is the mantle that is supposed to be in my kitchen. About probably two months ago, we were getting in bed and we heard this loud crash. We did not have it mounted to the wall or anchored to the wall. I think that's what you say. Because it really does not have to be anchored because it will sit up straight if somebody doesn't push on it. Well, Bella came in there and pushed off of the mantle. It hit the wall and crashed on top of the table. So the top's got to be kind of put back together and thank goodness it's got like a vintage feel to it so all the scratches and stuff just adds to the character of the piece. So we've got to get it anchored to the wall so it's kind of sitting in here out of the way so it does not hurt anybody. So I'm now going to get to the whole reason you're watching this video and that is my office space. So I will show you the entire side of the room including Kate's room, side of the room share with you what her area looks like first. I'm not gonna go into any drawers or anything. We just got it completely cleaned off, dusted and all that, so it is put together. So I'll show you what her area looks like, then we'll go into detail on mine. This is mine and Kate's side of the office. And you guys, yes, this may appear to be a huge office. It is supposed to be a den. And we just did not feel like we needed a den and a living room. So we turned the den in the back of our house into an office. And you guys, this room gets used more than any room in the house. We do a lot of family sitting in here and hanging out and the kids play. So this has been the best benefit of purchasing this house is this one area. So this is what our side looks like. And if from back away, it looks like a mess, but it's really not. So this is Kate's side right here. So hers kind of mirrors my side, if you notice. We tried to kind of make it look kind of similar, but, but still look like her and me, if that makes sense. So we're going to go, we'll start over here. And if you notice, I've got my lights over here. 
just so they're kind of out of the way. So I'm going to try to, I can, I'm going to try to move this light so you can kind of see. So this bookcase was my husband's and I don't think you can even see right here. So that is a picture of Kate, like a um, silhouette that she, her preschool teacher did for her, ooh, what was it, like five years ago? So she's got it hanging on her side. Okay, I think I've moved the light enough for you to see. This is her bookcase. It looks just like mine on the opposite side of this wall. So she wanted, uh, this is completely, everything you see is completely organized how Kate wanted it organized. She organized everything. The hat on the top is actually my Mickey ears that I got when my husband and I got married and went to Disney World on our honeymoon. It's got Kristen on the back. I'm hoping one day that we'll be able to get a set of ears for our kids. We're hoping to be able to take them in the next year or two. Okay, the top shelf. Okay, starting on the top shelf. This is what her top shelf looks like. She's got a few of her little awards she's gotten for cheer. And y'all, that is mine. The one in the middle, the beauty pageant one, is mine from 1983. I was a year old and I got second alternate in a little beauty contest. She wanted to put it up there. So I think I don't I think my mom gave it to her. Um she did a little little dribblers thing and these are cheer. Then she collects the Romero Brito Disney pieces that are her favorite. This is Marie from the Aristocats and this is Dumbo. Then that's from West Elm in the back. And then her books and her little um insta instax camera i guess that's what you call it she likes to have that displayed she got that for christmas last year her little pop funko she's got mini and um, cat in the hat i need to get her donald because donald is her favorite bless you then her bottom three shelves and you guys let me show you a little piece here i'm not going to look in anything that she has i know she has medals up here in that little bucket and I think there's chalk in there. This is hilarious. These are the little squishies. I don't know what she did with her other ones. She had several. This has a body to it. I don't know what she did with the bottom but she would not let me get rid of the penguin's head. It's around here somewhere. <laughs> she was determined to keep it. Oh this is a little poodle. There we go. And then her little radio to play dvd i mean dvds and a little boom box thing to play some cds if she wants to so that is her little bookcase and i'm definitely going to get her that donald pop funko then moving to this area here let me share with you what it looks like and y'all we got in here and dusted and cleaned up everything yesterday Okay, these up here, that is Barn Owl Primitives. In this little container right here, she actually has her um, Zoom Zooms. Then this is Pen and Paint, Be the Best Version of Yourself. The shelves are from Ikea. My daughter also collects planner clips, so she has them all sitting in, I think this is Epsom Salt. Somebody gave that to her with like a little necklace in it and she liked it so she put it up here. This is a little music um, snow globe. All the zoom zoom she wanted to display. Heidi Swap K that lights up. And I want to say, did my mom get her that bunny? I think for Easter, I think. Yes, I think my mom did. And then she's put all of her favorite pictures up here. This is a Vera Bradley memo board I've had for several years and I wasn't using it so Kate wanted it. No, it wasn't. No, it was a present to her. I Scratch that. It was a present to her. We got it a few years ago for her for a Christmas present. Okay, then my daughter also collects sparkly pens and she does have a few pen gems in here. Let me find them just to show you. This one here. Paper Princess 3, I think that is. And then she has a 
Where's the, oh, yep, she has the Northern Lights Mint in here as well. So she has two pin gems, I think. And she's getting more for Christmas. Okay, this was my husband's old laptop. If you can see, it's got, we had to put a key, um, keyboard to it. She just sits in here, her and Derek, and they watch YouTube videos on it pictures her little washi tape collection is right here she does have some simply gilded washi in there and you guys that is kate's little area and we need to um she did have her little pink chair there but we moved a little desk into our room so she moved this one over here so i'm going to clean that up and make that look more presentable for her area and now let's move to my area okay now we're going to move to my area and if you notice look i'm in the office and there's my little buddy over there sleeping him and his rope if I'm working on the computer, I've been working on the computer this morning. I'm actually right now while I'm filming this video, uploading a video right now. So that's what's on my laptop. So he's just been in here hanging out with me this morning. So we're actually going to start my tour with this little area right here, which is my planner station. This was put together by my husband. I came up with this crazy idea two or three years ago, and he actually made it happen for me. It is actually three of the ikea i do they call them the alex cubes now i'm not sure exactly what they call them but it is nailed together on a platform with rollers we put the platform on the bottom and the top and then this has two layers that is contact paper and then i, I ordered a backdrop from swanky prints on etsy and i just trimmed it down so it would fit perfectly on top of here so now i have a place to take all of my pictures i don't have to pull backdrops out from the closet so i'm going to share the top first and then i'll share what on each side okay this is what the this is what the top of my planning station looks like. And if you're wondering why this is here, I'm going to be doing a planner supplies haul video and I ordered some stuff from Erin Condren. So it's just hanging out here until I get the other things in to record it. This was the best place for it. Okay, here, this is a mug rug is what they call it. And I got it from somebody on Instagram these are just little trees they're little decorative clay trees that i got from jessica jane handmade this one's a santa one and this one says loved all of my signature pin gems are in the face cup from target so i keep all of the signature ones there that is a west elm owl next this is a work in progress this was on my lord i think it was on my desk it's been moved several places it is a pottery barn um bedford some kind of desk organizer i'll link it below if they still have it so i've got my budget planner in here my checkbook register my brand notebook my aaron Condra notebook that i use often pin gems that I will be giving away and I need to put some pictures here this is the home cube that you saw that video over so it's just sitting here so all my pins are ready to go if I need them my happy mail owl is framed I actually got this from somebody on um, the simply gilded Facebook group we did a little trade for washi tape and the journaling card this is the shop disney mickey mouse memories cup from may i did not get the plush but i did go ahead and get the cup and the pins this is one of the this is one of the three by three seattle pieces that they sent me 
okay it is a magnetic little board that's actually a little holder as well so and y'all i've got my goal for the summer here i'm i'm trying to hit 15,000 subscribers by the end of the summer I don't know if it's going to happen, but I just put that on there just so I can focus on it. So this is magnetic. So I'm just going to use it to keep all of my main focuses on. And back here, if you're wondering, these are the stickers so far that I'm using for the August Plan With Me video. And then I have my R Riveter brand ambassador cards here with my discount code on the back. So that is what we have on top of my station here, my planning station, and it gives me plenty of room here to do any type of pictures that need to be done. Now on the side, first side here is, those are all my binders that you know that I've shared videos over. Then down here, this, I have my paper trimmer in here because it was on the other side and the little knife there keeps pulling off, so I'm trying to keep it to where the kids can't get to it. Then we've got just some electronic plugs and things that are organized finally. These are all of my Erin Condren covers in here. And I need to find a better way to organize those because they are all over the place. So those are the planner covers that I switch between. See, I mean, look at them. This is my pin banner with all of my travels and just miscellaneous anxiety aids, Erin Condren, Chrissy Ann Designs. Anytime I go on a trip somewhere, I get pins and it goes on this um, pin banner here that is on the side of my planning station. And then you'll see my Disney ones in a second. So that is that side. Now to this side here, those are all of my planner stickers. And I've got two little things on the top because I put these little stickers when I do mailings and giveaways and things. I go through here and I pick out stickers to put on the envelopes and on the cards. Those are all of my empties that I will be filming a video and sharing it. I think it's like next week. These are, this is my giveaway bucket over here. This is all of my... There's some bags and some pin gems, little clear boxes. So, yes, that is what is there. Here, I've got to find a... Oh, I could hang that right here on the side of this. I'm needing a spot to put that picture. I could hang that right there on that side. That would actually look not bad at all. Okay, this is the kind of miscellaneous side. These are my cards, greeting cards organized. Those little cases came from the container store. I absolutely love them. This is another little giveaway bucket here with all of the stickers and things that I do de-stashing giveaways for. This is basically Kate's bucket here with her acrylic paints. This has all sorts of things. Their yearly books, our Christmas card books, my branding things, all of that is just in here. This is just a miscellaneous bucket. So these are Sterilite buckets here. Absolutely love them. They're the Ultra Deep Baskets. I think's what the name of it is. I'll put that link in the description below. These that look like this are the Y Weave Room Essentials Baskets from Target. And you guys, that is all for this area. And if you're wondering, this bucket here, I am putting... <laughs> It's just here to contain all of the stuff for my 10 more things to get rid of now video. Putting everything in there and then I'm going to line it all up to share. So you guys, that is my little planner station. Okay, now we're going to go with the wall. We'll do the wall stuff, I guess, first. Then we'll go to each little thing. So we're going to start over here. This is a memo board that I actually put together myself. It was just a frame that I got from Hobby Lobby. We took the glass out of it and we had some leftover sheet metal outside. So I used some tin snips and I cut it down so it fit in there. And now it's my memo board. So anytime y'all send me notes or anything, I will be putting it on here. I love to get little Happy Meal 
email from y'all. So if you ever want to send me a little note, I will read it and I will hang it on my wall. Okay, now my bookcase and yes, my books have been... Uh, I've moved some of my books because I was running out of space. Oh, and I need to mention this right here. This is my R Riveter Hobby. And it's just hanging there. I've got two little hooks in here that hang some of my bags that I love. This hook is hanging. Uh, this hook holds my R Riveter bag. So right now it's the hobby because the auto I'm using. Then I just have this basket down here holding all of my backpack things because I'm not needing them right now. But I don't want to put them up. So that bag, all the baskets are from Target. That one, the two on the bottom there, just every basket except for this one up there. That one is Walmart, I think. So this is my bookcase. And let me share where everything came from. Okay, the very top, that is a uh, Magnolia for Target little flower. The vase is also, oh, hearth and hand yes those are hearth and hand the vase and the flower Heidi swap uh, light box then my mom got me and my sister this little sign for mother's day it says angels are often disguised as daughters that came from hobby lobby she got both of us that the bookcases came from target and let me share you share a little bit of stuff if you have not followed my channel for a while you may not know this I, my husband kind of works on his own timeline and I'm usually the one rushing to get things done because when I get something, I really want to put it together right then. I put this bookcase together and look, that is on backwards. <laughs> and I did, I put these together. We've had these for probably six years now. I put them together on a Friday night, it was like 11 o'clock at night, I thought I had done so good because he was, I think he was working on football or something, so he was not home. He comes in the door and he's like, um, Kristen, you put that on backwards. So I'm thinking it gives it character, so I just, you know, it's just proof that not everything is perfect. Everything has issues. So <clears throat> this is my Simply Gilded. Magic is only a page away journaling card and I did a trade for some washi tape for that This is a little basket. It doesn't have any really anything in it Picture of me and the kids that frame came from um, Disney World when my husband and I went for our honeymoon books These are my pop Funkos. I'm gonna get Alice too to go with this set. I think that's gonna be my last one I say that now this is the, I think it's a chip and dip bowl. It's Mickey Mouse from Target. And I'm using it to keep my cameras and the accessories inside of it. I thought it was a great idea. And that's why I had to move some of my books to another bookcase. Because I wanted a spot to keep all of that. That was kind of out of the way. That my camera was not going to get thrown around. Books. Books and more books. That came from Target. There's nothing in it. Target, Target. And you guys, if you're wondering why this is sitting here, it's because when I went to my mom's and I did um, her closet clean out, I had my vlogging camera in here. I'm thinking I need something bigger though, because it's just, uh, it, it was not all my things fit in there. So, and those two books on the top, if you see there why they're sitting out is because those are the two books I'm about to read next. That is my tripod that I use for filming when I do my sit down videos or clean with me videos. So that is what my bookcase looks like. And we're going to move on over to this way. This is Barn Owl Primitives. You guys, I was lucky enough to find that at TJ Maxx. And it's actually, it's a canvas. More of these are my Foxy Fix bag and my R Riveter zipper clutch. Oh, you know what? I think I'm going to use that zipper clutch to keep my vlogging camera in when I travel. Because that will be perfect to fit the camera and the Manfrotto, I think is the name of it. Okay, now going to this little area right here. This is where I keep all of my Disney enamel pins. Okay, these, the other pin banner that you saw was this shabby stitchery. 
That came from this shabby stitchery on Etsy. That one did. And then this one came from somewhere else. I do not know. But I collect Disney enamel pins. These are the Coach Mini Pins from this year. These, I need to do, if you would like me to do a video on where I got all of my Disney themed pins, let me know because I can do that if it's something that you would be interested in seeing. I'm just going to kind of show them all to you. And excuse, I've got all the windows open in here so it's natural light. So, I, you know, the lights aren't going to glare. But it's still glaring, the natural light. So, going up here, that is Barn Owl Primitives on the right. We can do hard things. And on the left, that is a frame from Hobby Lobby. But the print actually came from Very Jane. And you guys, if you live... Uh, you could probably look for Disney prints. I know this week when I'm filming this, they had them and they have like 60 different ones. But I just like the concept and the, all, all everything around up. I love the movie. It says Adventure is Out There. So my sister actually saw it first and she told me and I rushed on there and purchased it. Okay, now let me get to this shelf here. Romero Brito. Romero Brito. This is the Sorcerer. This is Mickey in the Clouds, I think is the name of it. The stand is Target. This little washi, it's not called a washi house, but in the planner community, we call it a washi house. It was actually pink. It came from the Target dollar spot, and I spray painted it white. And I have my little Dumbo Zoom Zoom up there. This was one of the pieces I have for my grandmother. She collected geese, so I kept one. And it sits up here just to remind me of my grandmother. She died of ovarian cancer when I was 10, I think it was. This is Shop Catherine Mason. And I have a new one coming in. I'm hoping it's here pretty soon. I got a patriotic one. And then I've got all of my Pin Gym refills in here. And then my Mickey memories from August. And he's been several different places in here. And here's the thing. I should be getting the Mickey Memories June because I was able to order it online. If they send me a shipping confirmation and not a cancellation confirmation like some people have gotten in the past, he is either going to go here or here. I haven't decided yet. One of them is going to sit up there and the other one is going to sit down here. It just depends on how it looks when it gets here. So, yes, I already have a spot for my new Mickey. So, hopefully, fingers crossed that I do get him. Down here, this is a 3x3 three three Seattle strips. They sell the big ones, or these are the smaller ones, with these little, I think they call these the little mighties. And y'all, these are little things are amazing. Let me see if I can zoom in so you can see. These are the strongest magnets and are super small. So I have them up here as well. So they sent me these magnets as well. And I did not know this when they reached out to me. I was like, I already have some of your pieces. So these two right here are sold at the container store, but they are the 3 by 3 Seattle company. I love them right now. I've got giveaway information, how to do giveaways. And then I'm starting my all-time favorites list. So, if you're curious, I'm going to tell you what so far is going to be in my all-time favorites. Do y'all hear Imani? If you are curious, my all-time favorites here, I'll share with you what I'm going to be giving away so far. That is in, I think, the end of November. A Vera Bradley Beach Towel. A set of Mickey Pins. A Pin Gym. A R Riveter zipper pouch, and I just got confirmation that Libby and Co. is going to give away some stickers in that. So I'm looking for another shop or two to to help. Most of this has been purchased by me, but some of it, some shops will help me on. Libby and Co. That shop is helping me because you know I love Libby and Co. So I'm hoping to at least get one more thing for that giveaway. These are the Mickey coach pins from last year. I found somebody online that sold me those and the mini ones for a very reasonable price. They are normally like $60 and I was not going to pay that. I have my Erin Condren clipboard hanging up. There is my, this is my Ikea lamp. The desks are Ikea. 
Okay, this is my computer. I'm uploading a video here that's on 67%. Okay, my pin gems. All of my designer pin gems, they stay in these two cases right here. These are the scuba cases. I absolutely love these scuba cases. And all of my designer ones and limited ones are in here. This is the Foxy Fix mouse pad. My computer is, what is it? Is it like an Asus, I think? Yes, it's an Asus computer. My husband picked it out. Okay, this is the Hidden Cupcake. It's supposed to, it didn't have anything in it. It's supposed to be like a little birthday game, but I saw it at a specialty shop and I was like, oh no, I need that for my office. This little penguin is part of my little pin gems collection, but it came from Scratch Craft on Instagram, if it will zoom in. Let's move him over here and see if, it, there he goes. So he came from Scratch Craft on Etsy and they have, y'all, they don't just have penguins, they have owls and they have elephants and all sorts of things. So I got him and they have tons of different owls too. Um, I create and write and note Ray Dunn, my toddy gear wedge and y'all i use that thing so often i have another one in my bathroom i will just prop up my phone to watch youtube videos or listen to music i have my notepads out because you guys know my list pads i'm always needing to write notes down my planner is sitting here ready to go because i have been marking things off as i get them done so that is the top of my desk and the shelves. This needs to be cleaned out. This is my mailing station. The top, mine and, mine and my husband's, Derek and Kate's, folders, coupons, receipts, and then stuff that needs to be filed. So if you see, we've got a lot of stuff that I need to kind of go through. It's gotten out of hand in the last couple of weeks. So let's go here. The chair is my grandmother's chair. I need to go through and redo it again. I painted it and recovered the seat. So I need to go through and do it again because it's it's getting really shabby. It's been about six years since I've done that. Okay, this here holds all of my washi tapes. No, I'm not gonna say all my washi tapes. My just generic washi tapes. These are over here are empty in case my Simply Gilded collection is overflowing from the washi house. And I'm actually going to include one of these in a giveaway as well. I purchased those on clearance. Those are the hearth and hand washi tapes. One of them is for me and one's to give away. I just keep forgetting to move that. Oh, and these came from Amazon. I think they're the inner design. I'll link that in the description below if they still have them or wherever I can find them. This is my electronics drawer and y'all it needs to be cleaned out a bit so all of my accessories and i've got these in here too for some reason so all my jump drives all my memory card readers anything that goes with a the camera these are in here because these pop on the back of things and you can thread your cord through there so it's not sticking out from random spots so that is what that looks like these came from amazon as well these trays, two of them fit perfectly inside of this drawer. And this desk is the Alex desk. And we're actually going to get my son one as well. So we're going to sell the desk that you saw over there and get him one that matches mine and Kate's. And if you're wondering why my husband does not have an office space yet, it's because he does all of his stuff at the indoor facility for football. Okay, this is my mailing station as well. So my mailing station consists of two things. That over there and this right here. So the 10th and the 25th. The 10th is my first paycheck, mine and my husband's of the month. The 25th is the second. So anytime I get mail, a bill, I will take that bill, open it up, and it either goes in the 10th or the 25th. So when it's time to pay the bill, I come in here and I pull out everything to pay. And then I grab my budget planner and we get to paying bills. Now this is the Alex drawer unit. What is it? The one, two, three, the nine drawer unit. I'm going to take you through everything here and then this will be the last thing. So top drawer is basically all of, it's just miscellaneous. It's got scissors. What side? There we go. I'm doing this side. 
So it's got scissors and tape, hole puncher, staple pull. All of my tapes are over here. I need to put those other things over here that were in that drawer. So this is all organized out. This is another one of those drawers, um, dividers that I got from Amazon. These are from Walmart in the kitchen section. Second drawer here. These are absolutely amazing. This is one of the things that, another one of the things that 3x3 Seattle sent me. The five piece little stacking organizers here are so adorable. Look at the inside of that. That's gray. This one's gray. This one's blue. And then the next drawer has the other two that go with this set. They are so cute. I would like another set for another drawer here. These are all my pom-poms. These are all my tassels that you see on pictures. These are my Erin Condren elastic bands. Then I just put all of my Zoom Zooms over here because I'm trying to figure out what to do with them. Oh, Little Mermaid got, she got loose. There we go. Oh, I see Minnie back here too. Oh Lord, several did. So I really do like to open this drawer because it's so colorful. Next drawer here. This is another, these two came with the 3x3 Seattle. I mean, and they're metal. And here's the great thing, y'all. Look at the bottom. So it's got little pads on the bottom. There we go. So they're not going to slide around in the drawer. Very well made. I absolutely love these. I would love to get another set. So all of my little penguin clips are here. My Pippin clips from Pingeums. These are stickers from Simply Gilded and Pingeums. These are Walmart. Then just my staple and my tape dispenser. Next. And the next drawer is my office supply drawer. And this is the drawer I'm fixing to be cleaning out for part of my 10 things to get rid of now video because I've not done the office supplies portion of that video. So I've got a ruler and some adhesive strips for binders. Um, pens and highlighters, just big binder clips, staples binder clips and um, staples and this is the Ikea I think it's called the Atonius or something like that if I can find it I will link that in the description below they're supposed to fit the Rascog carts but I have them in here okay next drawer is my mailing drawer another one of those um, Antonius or however you pronounce it little organizers from Ikea it's got my checkbooks my stamps, my um, address labels, some things that I put on Erin Condren, little packages, giveaways and things. My second mailing drawer, which this is one of the Y-Weave baskets from Target, has envelopes and little um, blank note cards. When I have them, I need to go get some of those from Target. Next drawer here is random stuff. These are all my little notepads for my checkbook register and my punches. And the last two are little bags. These are my smaller bags and I've got my recycling bags from Erin Condren. I'm collecting those so I can start using those for groceries. And some of my Huggies Clutch and Cleans and some of my smaller pouches in here. Then down here I have some of my larger pouches. And then down here, these are the little zipper pouches from, there. I think they're called zipper envelopes from the container store that are for my kids' memories, school memories every year. So the black is Derek and the aqua is Kate. And you guys, that is all for mine and Kate's little area of the office. And we worked really hard on this the past couple of months and we have it kind of organized really nice and how we like it. And the only thing that will change is when I get those Mickey ears, if I decide to hang them on the wall, I will definitely keep you updated on that. So now to the giveaway. Now we are to the giveaway. 3x3 Seattle has been kind enough to give away some things to one of you guys. So I have left, the first thing in my description is a link to the giveaway. And it is through Raffle Copter. Now this is not associated with YouTube at all. YouTube has nothing to do with this. They know nothing about this. So make sure you check the terms and conditions for YouTube giveaways so that you understand that this is not associated with them. So this is from me and 3x3 Seattle. 
Seattle that's been gracious enough to do a giveaway with this video. So just check that link in the description below. You need to be 18 or older to enter or have parental permission to do so. So I hope you have enjoyed my office tour. I have really enjoyed sharing it with y'all and I'm hoping I can edit this down to be something that's not extremely long. I'm sorry if it's a bit long. I just wanted to make sure I shared every single area with you guys. So I hope you give this video a thumbs up. I hope you click that little red subscribe button below if you haven't done so already to become a part of this community. I hope you guys have a fantastic week and until next time, bye, bye you guys. guys. Thank you.